I'm here with Mr. Justin Smollett. How you doing, sir? You said my name right. You get extra points just for that. <laughs> Come on now. Thank hey, look, you. Look, man, I, I follow the whole family. I don't work with everybody. I don't work with all the sisters. But, They're all here. They're all but, here. but how does it feel? I mean, this 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 show portrays like such daring roles, and you're playing one of those characters who happen to be named Jamal, like I'm named Jamal. Disclaimer. But how does it feel like bring those those issues up and be able to like pull off that role and something that's so well crafted? You know what, in order to work with the great Lee Daniels standing next to me right now, uh, you really do have to be fearless. His whole, he's notorious for telling the truth. So, um, you know, it's just the way that it is. And it's, it's such a blessing. We're tackling, tackling, you know, subjects that have been whispered, but not necessarily fully spoken about. And, um, yeah, it's dope. Daddy Lee all day. This is what he does. For a queen, you sure do keep a messy place. What you need is a good maid up in here. You cooking chicken? Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you fry uh, it? Nah, it's stew. It's stew? This way. It might be a little stew. Stew's spicy. chicken. That's the way we like it, so, you know. Uh, who is this? Hi. Oh, Michael. So Michael. Uh, we sort of living together. Uh, but, come on. I know you're hungry. <laughs> oh, honey, you didn't tell me he was dating a little Mexican. Look at her, she's adorable. Yeah, I said little Mexican. <laughs> you need to get La Cucaracha to clean up around here, baby. Uh, what are you wearing? <sighs> what I got locked up in. Well, we gonna change that real quick. And why didn't you call me? I would've picked you up. I just got out. Good behavior. All right, so what you gonna do now? I'm here to get what's mine. I mean, but people have have attempted to like put issues and shows that maybe aren't crafted as well. Like, do you feel like because the music is so raw and and the characters and the directing and everything about the the show is so vivid that that the issues would be even taken even better in? You know, I hope so. I hope so. I know that. I feel like that's the intention. You know what I'm saying? That that to tell it in a way where you can get points across that are important for our community, our nation, our world, um, without preaching, without banging people over the head with your message and just really lifting up that mirror so that people can see themselves. And they can make their own decision. You know what I'm saying? And the music, working with, with Timberland, working with, how, how, was, how was this? There's, there's nothing like it in the world. You know what I'm saying? That, that I, I always say like four weeks before I booked Empire, I was recording my album with my producer David Ott on in a home studio off of Fairfax. And then four weeks later, I'm up in the hit factory in Miami, you know, in the same studio where they recorded Hotel California and like Liberian Girl from like Michael Jackson or something. And I'm here and I'm just like, yo, it's, it's something out of a, I feel like I'm in like Jackson's an American Dream or Dream Girls or something. It's something crazy. It's special though. That's a great dream, man. Keep living it, brother. Great, great, great to see you. All right.